No, I did not get the call correct. I kicked the of it. No, I did. I had a I had a great angle on it. I had great positioning on it. I I just missed the damn call. I missed it. I missed it from here to the wall. Did you when you and Leland were talking after the game? Did you tell him the same? Pardon me? When you and Jim were talking after the game, did you tell him you missed the call? No, I did not tell him I missed the call because at that particular time, I really thought I got the call right. I really thought I got the call right. Did you think? He I thought he beat the play. I thought he beat him to the bag, and I, I, I thought he beat it. At that particular time, I thought he beat the play, and now that I'm standing here and I've seen it on the replay, and naturally every Tiger out there was telling me that I had kicked the call because they'd seen the replay, so the first thing I did when I got in this locker room was looked at, I told the uh, Tim, our clubhouse guy, to, to cue it up, and... I, I missed it. I missed it. Obviously, you're never happy when you miss a call. This isn't a call. This isn't. This is. This is a history call. And I kicked the shit out of it. And there's nobody that feels worse than I do. I take pride in this job, and I kicked the shit out of that, and I took a perfect game away from that kid over there that worked his ass off all night. Just to clarify, you saw the foot on the bag, right? Was, you just thought that he got there. I just thought he got, yes. It's, I thought he beat the play. That's it. Had no, there was nothing else. So where do you, I guess, go from here as far as, what do you say to them with Major League Baseball? Or just... I don't know what the questions are for yet, to tell you the truth. I'm sure that I'm going to get a call that asks me what happened, and I'm just going to, I mean, what do I say? I missed it. I missed it. It's probably the most important call in my career, and I, and I missed it. Because of the very unique circumstances that being two out two in the ninth inning, is there any way that the commissioner, is there any way that they can in any way restore and or... You have to ask the commissioner's office that. Jim, not, not to beat yourself up here too much. I mean, uh, this, this is called uh, a, 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 a human being here that you are, and we all are here, and we all know that things sometimes happen, and sometimes at the worst of times. Uh, is there any forgiveness of yourself here tonight? Not tonight, not yet. I, I, I don't know. I, I've never been through this. I've never had something like this happen to me. I haven't gotten that far yet. I've had a lot of thoughts going through my head right now. How bad were the guys after the ball? Was there anything close to a confrontation there from your perspective? You know what? I don't blame them. I'm going to tell you right now. I don't blame any one of those guys over there for saying whatever they said to me because I'm going to tell you right now it was all a blur anyway. I don't blame one, not one person over there. I would have done the same thing. And I was fully aware of what was going on since the fifth inning. Did they, did they get, was there any physical touching at all out, out there after the game? No, no, there's nothing like that. There was nothing. My crew, my crew did a great job. And you know what? I had to give Jim Leland his say. I'm a man. I, I mean, I can, I can take it. I've been doing this job a long time. Jim Leland needed to say something, and, and he did. And I have nothing against Jim Leland at all. If I would have been Galarraga, I would have been the first one standing there. I would have said something immediately. He didn't say a word. Not a word. I mean, at that moment, prior to the next pitch, would there have been an opportunity? Could you have theoretically conferenced and discussed it? Was that no. No, because it was a safe out of ball. Right. You said your aware was not since fifth inning. Obviously, there's a lot of tension in the stadium. Were you nervous at all then? I was very aware of what was going on.
very aware. Did you have any sense initially, Jim, that you might have, might have missed it? At the particular moment, no. Obviously, there's always a doubt. There's always second guessing. Yeah, Dan Kinger taught your profession some years ago that, uh, again, this is anything but uh, uh, an infallible business. Uh, can you accept that? You must have gotten into this profession knowing that just such a moment could have occurred. Nothing like this has ever happened to me. I worked with Don Dankinger. I know what he went through. I don't know what else to say. I mean, I don't know what else to say.